Listen, this isn't the first time we've heard this kind of talk from Donald Trump, and it reeks of authoritarianism. And it also harkens back to a time of Hitler, who used the same exact language that Donald Trump is now quoting uh, to talk about the, the people who he thinks are poisoning the blood uh, of the nation. You know, all of this smells like an affinity towards eugenics, which really should give us all pause. Because when we remember the last person, the last awful authoritarian dictator uh, who believed in eugenics, it was someone who really uh, wanted to exterminate an entire people because they thought that they didn't have good genes and because they were trying to create a certain type of race. Uh, Donald Trump has, him has himself said that his parents, his father, raised him to believe that they were superior to others because they had good genes. Now, what does that mean? The way he's talking about it is he wants to purge the immigrants, right? He wants to get rid of of all of the immigrants and has said that he would do some pretty nasty, harmful things uh, to them uh, because they don't have good genes. I, I don't think that mm -hmm. this is just rhetoric. I think that we need to take oh, this seriously on. and understand where his inspiration comes from. And today, of all days, it is just really savage that this is who he's quoting and that he's quoting Hitler. Come on, Aaron. I, I don't want to swear. David, I mean, is you know, this rhetoric to say you believe in the racehorse theory about bloodline? Listen, listen. Hey, 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 Aaron, listen, I'm not going to sit here and put up with this. I, I will. I am a very good guest normally. But to Aisha, for you to compare Donald Trump to Adolf Hitler on 10-7, on it's just shameful. Number one, what he was talking about are murderers, people who came into this country and murdered Americans. OK, so let's not mince. Let's not try to string together a bunch of quotes that weren't it weren't put together. There are different points in time to try to make it look like something he didn't say. He was talking about. 26,000 people, rapists and murderers in this country. And he said, in my opinion, and it's not just Donald Trump's opinion, there are scientific studies out there about nature or nurture, about murderers, whether they have some sort of genetic predisposition to murder people. And he's talking about the people who murdered Americans, not eugenics, not some made up BS, Aisha. So listen, I'm sorry that Donald Trump feels like standing up for people who may have been murdered by immigrants and want to deport illegal immigrants who are here criminal violent aliens who want to kick them out of our country to protect Americans, but that's okay in my case. He's not talking about eugenics. He's not going to, to compare him with Adolf Hitler today. It's, I find it particularly offensive. Listen, we can fact check, so just check this all, so just all day long. David's no, just hot, da David's just hot air is not going Aisha, to rewrite the history Aisha, of the words that Donald Trump himself Aisha, has Aisha, used. This is fact. Aisha, he has read long the words he said today. about genetics. Well, I'm talking about the history of everything he's ever said. So you can We're not have about the a short-term memory, David, for the sake of going into an election okay, and like, doing Donald Trump's bidding. But this... As an Aisha, American, let's talk about Kamala makes Harris. me really concerned. Let's talk about Kamala Harris as a black memory. lesbian who Donald Trump doesn't believe has genes as good as his. Is he going to attempt to really? exterminate he, me why, why do you when he that, gets Aisha? elected? Because he's that? damn near said it. That's why, David. That's why. He, because he's, okay, he, and I'm not going to be that, lectured Aisha? by some white man who has no idea what he's talking about <laughs> and is trying to rewrite history here. Aisha, shame, I am shame afraid, on you, Aisha. as an American, Aaron. of a Donald Trump presidency and his actual quotes shame are on why. You, Aisha. Because I take him seriously, and I think that he believes what he says. And that is why he is a danger and a threat to America. Uh, Aaron, Aaron I, you can't have a right, rational let me just discussion. Say, I appreciate the, talk okay. about topics. All right, well, I... Because damn near said it. That's why, David. He damn near said it. Oh, you mean, in other words, he never said it. I'm not going to sit here and listen to a white man. Well done, Aisha. You showed your racism and sexism in the same sentence. The conversation was over the second she said, As a black lesbian. Thanks. That's all I need to know. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're a lesbian. But if all your arguments start with, I'm a black lesbian. Well, I know what that means. It means you're a race-baiting Marxist grifter. And the reason people like her think Trump will do all these evil things is because in her heart, she knows if she was in charge, she would try to exterminate white men. So she assumes everyone else is as insane and evil as her. Nope. You're on your own there, sweet pea.